from a book called Assault on the Clouds, which is um, take all the events in this book take place on an imaginary island. There is a philosopher, an emperor, an empress, a painter, a poet, and so on and so forth. It's a narrative, so this is one of the narratives in which the painter paints the empress. It's called Painting the Empress. Blindfolded chancellors remove the robes, the crown, the woven undergarments, the golden panties, then retire. The painter is alone with her. She studies his smock and smiles. The instructions are, be quick. Starting with the nose, that black-headed mitre of disdain, he renders it in grapefruit rose. It tickles, she complains. Instructed not at any cost to speak, he etches deep sunk eyes in blue. Cheeks and forehead get a lively blush, but the ears, what cries must they have heard? What color is the wax of terror? The color he will use cannot be found in nature, drunken stone with gashes of ravine. Gleams of sweat adorn his brow. She shows her tongue. He slaps a wad of brown upon it. She doesn't move. He skips her upper torso, kneels before arthritic toes. Each one gets a different shade of jade. His brush delineates her calves and knees. Following the isobars of blood, he maps them in a crazy daisy, takes no notice of the mumbles falling from her mouth, Strike, swipe, splash, flash, the, plate, the paint glops onward up her thighs and ribby sides to fallen dugs and nipples that have suckered folk so long. She's whooping like a wounded walrus, ecstasy or pain. Down her back he goes in troweled swathes toward that rich, expensive exit then curves around the line of withered thighs, finds the pit of dynasty and floods it with his Tyler's brush, thickly covers it in broad maroon, dabs in every corner purple spots, the quaver of her highness going up in octaves, the royal seat of pleasures drenched. Enough, she cries, I am replete. Before his time, to take a backward step to get the full effect. Her chancellors wrap her in a cloak of gold. She's ushered out, and all he smells is paint, the seedy smell of someone satisfied, an empty room with paintings of the dead that stink like goats digesting thistles in a mildewed barn. He stands a while, then tosses down his brush and leaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, John.